Man, am I ever missing the 7.30 sunrises of Patagonia. It's 4.30 in the morning, time to leave the residence in here in Springfield and go shoot the Capitol building. I'm at the state capitol building right there. I have this like, it's not a weird fascination I don't think. I have a fascination with US capitol buildings because they're always so impressive. The buildings are so impressive. I've never been to Springfield. I've never been here before. I see the building and um, I gotta try to figure out how to photograph it now. I'm gonna say this is Abe Lincoln, <laughs> although I don't see a beard. Um, you've got this classic shot, I think I'm assuming this must be the classic shot, just straight up at the Capitol building with the statue in the foreground. And then after that I might walk into the park and maybe try to get a frame of these trees with the Capitol in the background. So um, time to get the tripod set up. So big issue with uh, shooting this exact location here is that this statue is really, really, really bright. And of course I could wait a little bit until it's brighter outside and it matches, but I think I'm actually gonna use a two-stop grad ND filter and put it upside down. Usually use grad filters to hold in the light at the top of an image, but here I'm gonna use one at the very bottom. But um, we'll see if that works. Now I'm gonna shoot this at, let's say F11, F11 30 seconds. The thing with shots like this is everything needs to be perfectly aligned. Alignment on your shots is something you can't correct later. You can't, you can't make it work later. Yeah, there's the tools to stretch and pull on, on Lightroom, but you really have to get it right on camera. And I'm really bad at that, <laughs> really bad at that. Yeah, it's honestly, it's just a simple image. There's nothing special about it. There's, uh, I don't know. One of those things that it's just, it's a great location, but it's kind of just hard to shoot something extraordinary when you get just boring light. If we had like epic sunrise or something like that, this would be great, but I, I think it's just gonna be bluebird. Before I move on to another shot, one thing I've been doing a lot of lately is panos. I've been doing a lot of panos lately just because I feel like there's been times I can't capture an entire, not an entire scene, but I can't capture the depth of a scene right. And right now I'm just trying a pano. I don't know if this works. I, don't, I never know if these are gonna work until I get home. But I've just shot five images vertically like this and just come across this scene. And I hope it comes out cool. <laughs> I really do. So at the end of the Patagonia trip, I talked about how I was feeling uh, like I was struggling. And I was feeling like I was struggling in a positive way in that I was finally starting to see compositions deeper. I think as a photographer, I struggle with composition a lot and I really rely on the tricks of camera to get me around um, compositional problems. I'm a very, very good technical photographer, but I struggle with composition and I'm starting to see it. I really am, and it's kind of frustrating though, because now I'm seeing things and I don't like them as much as I might have before. It used to be kind of nice. It's kind of that old idea of it's, it's nice to be naive or it's nice to be oblivious. The happiest people are those who have no idea that what they're doing is wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having trouble. I'm trying to frame the, the Capitol building with some of these trees. And I just, everything I shoot seems obvious, or everything I set up kind of seems obvious. But I think I'm gonna try again, maybe from a lower perspective, straight up using these trees as a frame, and hopefully that works.
beautiful building. Kind of hard to photograph this morning because of the lack of light. Architectural photography, if you don't get the light, it can be really, really challenging. When you get the sky popping up behind it, it can just change the mood and atmosphere of everything. So blue skies, great for life, terrible for photography. And I think it's time to head back to the Residence Inn, grab some breakfast and hit Route 66. Gimbal going crazy! Whoa! Anyway, we're in route. We're on Route 66, cruising now, still in southern Illinois, and uh, this is the last drive-in theater on Route 66 in Illinois. Uh, apparently, there's one other on the road, so there's two left. But I love stuff like this. These old signs. I'm glad these are still running. I actually really enjoy drive-in theaters and think they should probably make a comeback. So along Route 66, one of the coolest things is all the food options. And we're here in Southern Illinois. We're at a place called Wheezy's in, are we in Hamill? Uh -huh. In Hamill. And on the menu, there was a thing called a shoe. And we had no idea what it was. And basically what it is, is you just pick your meat. You get chicken or beef. I got chicken and then it's covered in French fries, doused in like nacho cheese, and then a chunk of bacon on top. Doesn't get much better than that. Good. In the brain. We almost, almost made it to St. Louis and we're at a place called Old Chain of Rocks Bridge and uh, my gimbal's dead, <laughs> the battery's dead. So instead, I think this looks like a cool place to drone. I'm at the Ritz Carlton in St. Louis, which is just, it's next level. You should see downstairs and maybe on tomorrow's episode, I'll show you guys the downstairs area. It's luxury and it's like way above whatever I'm used to. It's not from the social class I'm from. It's just, it's totally foreign to me and I totally appreciate it and I'm blown away by it. But beyond like fancy stuff and luxury stuff and marble and gold and whatever else, the things I really love are these little things that I'm about to show you. When, when hotels and brands do this stuff, this just blows me away. So when I got into the hotel room, they had a bunch of stuff for me. First of all, they got my mail. And I'm gonna open up the mail after. I'll show you guys the mail after, because what's in there is cool too. But they left me a personalized like letter with introduction, welcome. There's a cheese and fruit platter. There's like snacks. There's this get your kicks on Route 66 thing, just like supporting the journey. And then this is really awesome. I think this is the coolest idea I've ever seen at a hotel spread that's kind of been left for, for me or anybody. There's a build it yourself cocktail. They've got like the instructions to it. This is a Route 66 cocktail. And basically you've got ginger liqueur, you've got four roses, single barrel bourbon, you've got honey, you've got cayenne pepper, pepper a, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then the drink glass, and you've got the shaker there. So you build it yourself. I think that's such a cool idea, and I'm gonna indulge in this stuff. I'm going to take full advantage of this stuff, but I'm gonna do it later. And then I'm gonna go and uh, jump on Trover and try to find a location for uh, to photograph here in in St. Louis. I've never been to St. Louis. We only have one night here, so I really wanna get a cool photo from downtown. Oh, and um, let me open this other package because it's something cool in here too. I don't know how to do this. Um, just set this here. <laughs> All this fancy technology and I'm just setting it on the table. This is something I've been excited for. This is something I've been waiting for for a long time. 
You guys know how much I love my SanDisk SSDs. They're just fast, I can edit off them, I keep all my, my photos and video on them. I edit my videos, my vlogs directly off them. They just released a new one. And this is the brand new one. It's, this is a fairly small one, it's 250 gigabytes, but it's awesome and it's super fast. It reads 550 megabytes a second. So this will be my new go-to um, solid state drive. This is what I'll edit the vlog off of. Let me open it up. It's a little bit bigger apparently than the other one, but it's also faster and way more durable. And the other one was still durable. That's tiny actually. Look at that, it's like the size of I don't know, it's like a keychain. You could literally put this on your keys. That's not bigger than the other one. I think that's smaller. That's crazy. Anyways, that's what I've been looking forward to and I'm stoked about it. So, um, thanks SanDisk and it's time to get some work done. Wow, so this is cool. The arch is right there. As you can see, my Uber driver was hilarious and had me chatting the whole way. I, I should have filmed it, but he carries a framed picture of himself with Johnny Cash, not Johnny Cash, with John Wayne in uh, 1969 in his Uber with him everywhere he goes just to show people. Anyways, the arch is right there. This building, which I've forgotten the name of already, is right there. I want a photo from the other side of this framing the building. I found this spot. I shouldn't say I found this spot. Somebody else found this spot and put it on Trover. So thanks to whoever posted it on Trover. Um, I can see the arch here. There's actually a fountain there. I'm wondering if it all lines up together. The shot I saw on Trover was actually from a, a bit of an angle, but it looked like it could be framed up. So let's see what we can do back here. It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days I'm having a couple little battles here, but this is cool. We have the fountain and this um, statue, and it kind of all frames together. The statue in the building with the arch behind it. So it definitely didn't get any sunset light. Um, so I'm gonna wait until the blue light turns on. There's people up on a rooftop over there that I think would probably be cool, but this is gonna do the trick, I think. Um, I'm just waiting, and there was like a bunch of kids, like three or four kids on bikes that came up, and they were like, hey, can we get a photo? So I've been taking their picture, and it's kind of fun. I don't think the photos came out that great because I didn't have the right gear with me, but yeah, it was definitely fun at least. My name is Tawana White. What's your name? Tawana White. Follow me on Instagram. I will watch our YouTube channel. I will come subscribe. I got a new cameraman. What do you think? So that, that was fun, that ended up being fun. I love the photography, I love making videos, but I like messing around and meeting new people and just, yeah, that was fun. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm cruising back down Route 66 tomorrow. I don't know where we're headed other than Southwest. And it should be fun, I'll see you guys there. Next video. See you next Bye video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.